and let's go ahead and open up OBS. So we do have OBS in front of us here. Um, I have a walkthrough article for you guys for how to set up OBS. I'll go ahead and paste that in chat. Um, we're going to go through OBS a little bit faster um, just because of time restraints here. So um, to go ahead and set up OBS, you're going to come in and you can see here that you have scenes and you have sources. A little, uh, these are kind of backwards from what we saw in XSplit. Um, if we go ahead and open up XSplit side by side, give me a sec here, it'll load up. Oh, I click on OBS, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to go over kind of OBS. Um, so uh, let me go ahead and bring up XSplit real quick. Just kind of want to show you the differences um, and some things to look at. So in XSplit, we had our scenes over here. In OBS, you have your scenes right here. You have your scene sources right here in XSplit, and you have the sources right here in OBS. Okay, so we're in OBS, and hey, we want to set this up. Well, uh, I did send you guys the article um, if you guys are interested. So first step, let's go ahead and set up the settings. We're going to go to settings and settings. <clears throat> so you're set your language. Uh, you don't need to set anything within here. Just leave it exactly the way it is under general. In coding. Um, this kind of compiles a lot of stuff that we saw in XSplit. <clears throat> so you want to go ahead and within OBS, um, you can go ahead and, you know, there's check boxes up here. Okay. You can go ahead. Let's go ahead and uncheck use CBR and you have a quality balance. You can set your quality. Um, you know, I'd recommend going at 10, but, um, you know, if you can't get away with 10, move it down to eight if you're seeing problems on your stream. Uh, and then you can check off that use CBR there. So here's that bit rate that we talked about. Uh, that bit rate was, you know, we were just talking about like 3,000 and stuff like that. This is where you set that number. So this is where you're going to want to go ahead and set your number that you're looking for. So for right now, we're going to set it to 3,000. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and move on from there. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, your audio encoding. Leave everything the same. The bit rate can stay at 128. Okay, now what we're going to do is we have our format set within here. We're going to leave it exactly the way it is. You can leave it at 48. It's fine. The default's good. So we just set our max bit right there. Now you're going to go to broadcasting. You're going to save the settings? Sure. Okay, so we're going to go under mode. We're going to want to just keep it at live stream. Streaming service, we're going to want to change to Twitch. The server, you're going to want to change to one that's closest to you. And then the play pass, stream key. So, we need to go ahead and get our stream key. To act to get your stream key, the instructions are in that guide, you need to log into your Twitch account, click dashboard in the upper right hand corner, then you need to go uh, within dashboard and let's see, you need to go to the option under dashboard that says stream key and it will give you the stream key and you paste it in here and it's a real long number sequence. So it'll, 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 it'll go ahead and just put a bunch of dots in here to hide it and encrypt it. Do I have any discount codes? Uh, use Octane Pro as your discount code. That'll get you 33% off plus free shipping anywhere in the world. Octane Pro. So you got your, your stream key will be put in here, guys. It's a long key. Uh, moving on from there, you don't need to fill out anything else within here. Okay? Unless you want to save your items locally. Let's say you want to save your recordings locally on your computer. Go ahead and check off save to file and then just select a spot, let's say one of our desktop, uh, where we want a local copy um, to go ahead and save to. You can have it you know, saved to right there, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and go from broadcasting settings to video. We'll save the settings. This is where you set your resolution. So let's say I'm streaming at 1920 by 1080, but, or that's what my screen region is, and I don't think, you know, I'm not gonna be able to handle with my internet or my computer, you know, this top settings. You can go ahead and use this, which is a resolution downscaling. So it'll scale it down to something. So let's say we'll scale it down to 1280 by 720. So it's going to stream at this uh, bit rate, or this, um, I'm sorry, this resolution here. Okay? So even though our resolution is 1920 by 1080, we want it to scale down and be 1920 by 720. Okay? Now our frames per second here, you can go ahead and uh, leave that at 30. Within OBS, that's perfectly fine. We don't need to set it to 29.97 in OBS. Hit apply and hit OK. All right, then we got audio. 
In audio guides, this is where you can leave it default, which means it'll use your, your default speaker and it'll use your default microphone. If you want to change a different microphone, let's say I want to go to the webcam one, you can select that. And if we wanted to use something else outside of the default, you could change it. But you most likely won't need to change either of these. Under advanced, this is where it uh, gets very important. Very important here, guys. Um, so under advanced, I want you to come down and you see where it says under video X264 CPU preset. This is that encoding preset. Okay, you don't need to touch encoding profile, just the CPU preset. So this is that what we talked about, where the slower the preset, the better the quality. Um, so something to keep in mind there. Um, once again, the slower the preset, the faster or the better the quality. So once again, you're going to come in here and just like we talked about with XSplit, you're going to want to go ahead and set this um, to be at a level that works best for you. Um, I'm going to recommend you start out at faster. And uh, what you'll do is when you start streaming, you'll right click on the bottom and go to start task manager. I would recommend leaving this up, the task manager with the CPU usage on here under performance tab. And if you're maxing out that CPU, you got to come back in here under XSplit. CPU preset and you got to slow this down it's too fast if you're not maxing it out you're getting it you know it's getting up a decent amount you want you want to you know test out a little bit more maybe you're on faster go ahead and move it too fast um, don't be over greedy and try to go down to slow you you can completely lock up your computer that way to be honest with you guys um, there's no way you're gonna handle slower sorry guys you're not gonna handle the best of the best um, <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and move it to faster Outside of that, you can leave everything else the same for a basic tutorial setup with OBS. Um, you don't need to touch anything else, so we'll leave that at faster. We'll hit apply and OK. So we set you know a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, you know we, we set our resolution, we set our audio, we set our video, we set up the link directly to our channel um, using that stream key. So it's a little bit different than XSplit, but it's very similar um, without a doubt. So, um, once again, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at any of our questions here on ask.fm. Um, and, um, you know, go ahead and take a look. Is the, re is the recorded videos on Twitch the same quality like your stream? Um, no. The recorded videos are not. If you were to go ahead and look at, like, my past broadcast, um, you will notice that, um, you know, the quality is good but not at the optimal level. Um, I think it's, like... I don't know if it's even 720. Sometimes I look at it and it's like looks like 480 or something garbage like that. So the VODs are not very good on XSplit or are on Twitch, uh, without a doubt. They're not very good on Twitch. <clears throat> um, as for this other question, do you think someone could make it popular stream? Oh, we already answered that one. Okay. So um, we went ahead and went over the basic settings within OBS. Let's go over setting up scenes. So our first scene here, we're going to go ahead and rename it and say out of game. And we're going to create another scene. We're just right-clicking, add scene, and in game. Okay. So if we want to add in uh, out of game, we can do add. Right-click on our sources, go to add, and you can go to like an image, and you can name that image whatever you want. Um, out of game image. And now it's going to ask you to browse for it. And we can go ahead and browse our computer. And here, let's add a different one here. Okay, so we're going to add this image here. Okay, so we added the image, but just like in, you know, in XSplit, I don't see anything. As you read in the middle of the screen, you need to hit Preview Stream. So Preview Stream, and there's our overlay. So let's say you want to add our camera. You can right-click, Add, and then you need to come down here to Video Capture Device. Okay, we're going to hit OK. And... You see it's a little different here. Under devices, you have webcam. So we're going to add webcam. And if you really wanted to get specific, you could come down to custom resolution and you can set the resolution for your webcam. I'm going to leave it completely the same though. We're just going to add webcam in there and hit OK. And that's in uh, video encoding. And so as you can see, the webcam is kind of laying off to the side. Hello, how are you? I see you. Okay. <clears throat> this is like a spare webcam, guys. I have off to the side. So now you're like, huh, how do we move stuff around? It's not letting me like uh, XSplit did. You have to come down to Edit Scene. Click Edit Scene. 
and now you can go ahead and move stuff around as you want. Okay. You can also, you know, now now keep in mind with OBS, you can't just move stuff up and down. You need to right click. Let's say we want to have our image behind the or our webcam behind the image. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So this is actually if I want to rename it, this is webcam. Okay? Right click on it and go to order and move down. Now you can see look, the webcam is behind the overlay. Okay, so pretty cool there um, that you have that there. So let's go to in game. So we can go to add. Okay. Now in this option, you can go to monitor capture. Let's say we had, I wanted to add the whole str whole screen. Add monitor capture. And let's see in game or let's see uh, smite. Let's call it smite. Okay. You can come in here and say, what do you want to add? Do you want to add monitor one? You know, I have three monitors hooked up right now, so it allows you to pick which monitor you want to do. So let's say we wanted to do monitor three. We need to do monitor three. Come down here and hit OK. And I'm gonna hit OK. And oh look, there's monitor three. I have I have I have chat up right now. So kind of cool there. Um, that's a that's a 22 inch turn sideways. So that's why it's like very vertical. We go ahead and remove that, and we can go to add monitor. And let's do just my first monitor there. <clears throat> hit OK. And oh, stream inception. Um, that's because we're capturing it, everything that's on there. That's why. And we're capturing everything on our first monitor. So that's why that's set up like that. So let's go ahead and remove that there. So guys, we went ahead and went over OBS uh, and some of the additions there. Um, OBS does not have the plugins um, that a lot of the other, like XSplit does. Um, so keep that in mind, guys, uh, that we don't have that, uh, you know, a lot of those cool plugins where you can go to add and you know you do have some cool stuff down here like an image slideshow uh, window capture let's say you wanted to capture a screen region you can right click go to add window capture and hit OK and now what you do is uh, within window capture let's say we wanted to do uh, let's see like here Windows Task Manager you can do that but then click off click in sub region and hit select region and see what happened there look it puts this little white like view over it and see you can go ahead and do just a screen region if you want to it's not as easy guys as XSplit I will tell you without a doubt um, you know using OBS is not as easy uh, but once you get the hang of it it works out pretty well so let's say we just want to capture that so I just captured that hit OK and now look see it adds that up right up on the stream <coughs> And it just adds, add, uh, just grabs that, um, that area, which is pretty cool. So we put that like down here. Ta-da! <clears throat> Why do I use game capture? Why don't I use game capture instead of monitor capture? Good question. Uh, it all depends on like if you're jumping in and out of uh, games and stuff like that. And um, the the game capture does not work. You know, you could go ahead and do game capture if you wanted to, but it doesn't work perfect 100% of the time. So keep that in mind. You can go in and do game capture and select, you know, whatever window you want, but it doesn't work perfect every single time. Um, you know, I'm just kind of kind of showing it off to you guys. Are you going to YouTube this? Uh, yes, I will be chopping it up and putting it on uh, YouTube, um, without a doubt. So, um, you know, you could come in here and do another window capture, and then we could go to um, Task Manager, Sub Region, and hit Select Region. So you see how this is white now? See how it puts that on that? Now I can go ahead and shrink this down. And let's say that we just want to show our, my, the audience my CPU. I've selected it, and it says click outside. So we'll click outside and click OK. And there's my CPU. See, it shows you my CPU usage in real time. And then I could move the, see how I can move? Look, I can move this all over the place. I can move it off, off the screen completely, and it still keep, uh, keeps with it, which is pretty cool. Pretty fun to be able to have some of that information there. Uh, available to us. So let's go ahead and talk about a little bit about guys, uh, you know, troubleshooting issues uh, with OBS. Um, you know, with your biggest troubleshooting issues is that you're going to get uh, drop frames. And as you can see down here under drop frames, this is where it's going to show you if you're having drop frames right now. Um, if you're getting drop frames, if you come over here to the bottom right, you see how you have this number here. 
if this is turning red, you know that your upload speed is too aggressive. You need to turn it down. So if this is turning red, that'll let you know, hey, it's too, it's too much, it's too much. Um, you know, it'll tell you, you know, hey, do you turn it down? It'll say like 2,500 or 2,000 or 1,000. So you need to go in under settings, in co or under, where is it here, encoding, and this number here, this 3,000, we need to turn that down probably if, it's too, if it turns red to like 2,500. Now, if your drop frames, though, is, is going all over the place, you know, and you don't want drop frames. You'll just be zero all the time. But it can happen from time to time. You have one or two or three drop frames on a big deal. Don't kill yourself over it. But if you are getting, you know, if your number in the bottom right is turning red and it's really low, um, you can go ahead and uh, look and your drop frames are going to be a direct reflection of that. Um, you'll have the direct reflection going on there. So, you know, if drop frames can be caused by this number in the bottom right hand corner being super low. If uh, another issue is, is you can get drop frames from your resolution being too aggressive. So you have to come in here and go to video and you have to change your resolution to be lower. Lower resolution, 720 is too much, you need to drop down to 480. Um, <clears throat> finally, so we talked about that. The last thing is, is if you're getting drop frames, you're having issues here as well, you might have to come into settings and go into encoding and you need to go ahead, um, where's it at? Oh, advanced, I'm sorry, advanced. And this preset's too aggressive. You know, might be too aggressive. You need to come in, take it from, you know, faster to very fast, uh, if need be, without a doubt there. Question in chat, why do you have 8140 memory and I have 8190? Uh, because uh, your BIOS uh, on your computers and the, and the uh, motherboards take away a little bit of memory. Um, and uh, depending on the manufacturer, it could be different. So uh, we kind of went over that information there a little bit in as to tr how to troubleshoot that. Uh, something to keep in mind. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to swap over now um, to out of game here.